In this problem, you need to write an equation that has the given roots. Since they give you two roots, that means your equation can start out with two factors. And a root is just a number that makes a factor equal zero. So we're going to have a factor for x equals 4, and we're going to have a factor for x equals negative 3. We need an x in each of these. That's what gives you your second power. That's what makes it a quadratic equation. Now here, if you let x equal 4, you need to take 4 away to get a root, to get something that equals 0. Here, if you let x equal negative 3, you have to add 3 to that to make that factor equal 0. So to make it officially an equation, we just say this stuff equals y. And to make it in standard form, we just FOIL it out. So you get x squared plus 3x minus 4x minus 12 equals y. And when you put it together, you get x squared minus x minus 12 equals y. That would be your equation in standard form. And you can check it by plugging in the x value 4 for x. You get 16 minus 4 minus 12, which would be 0, which it should be, because this is a root. You could also plug in negative 3 for x. It would give you 9 plus 3 minus 12, which would also be 0, as it should, because x equals negative 3 is a root. So the equation that's boxed in would be your answer.